Anonymous Watch Guy here with the last of the State of the Collection videos. This will be for watches with a retail price of over 500 US dollars. Now there are several watches in this video that I paid less than $500 for, but for the sake of splitting them all up, this is for just retail price. If you like the video, give me a like, maybe subscribe to the channel. Also check out the other State of the Collection videos the under $500 video, and the micro brand video. To start, of course, as always, a quick wrist check. It's the new Seiko 5KX GMT. This is a gorgeous, killer watch. Check out my unboxing video that is up on the channel now as well. And to start this over $500 video, we have a Seiko. It is the Seiko SRPG15. This is affectionately known as the Land Tortoise. Of course, it has the iconic uh, turtle cushion case. Uh, this is a 42 millimeter watch. It has the venerable 4R35 movement in it. Um, it has a friction bezel. Uh, this does have 200 meter water resistance. Uh, I think Seiko kind of wanted this to be almost if it's really a field watch, but maybe an everyday sports kind of outdoor watch, not necessarily just kind of a dive watch. Part of the Prospects line. Uh, don't love the strap on this one. It's kind of not the greatest, but a cool watch. Full retail price on these is $525 US dollars, and I paid considerably less than that for this watch. I think I paid around 300 bucks for it. Uh, but a cool watch, uh, the Seiko Land Tortoise, first entry in the over $500 watch video. Next on the list is a couple Bulovas, or Bulova, however you want to say it. I'm sure there will be some comments on that. The first is the Lunar Pilot. This is the 96A225 Lunar Pilot. I did do an unboxing video on this watch. Full retail price on this one comes in at 595 US dollars. Uh, this does have a, a sapphire crystal, really cool sapphire crystal on this one. This one also has your high precision quartz movement that gives you an accuracy within a few seconds per year. You do get a sweep to that second hand with this high precision quartz movement. Uh, very, very cool watch. Of course, everybody knows the big knock on these um, Lunar Pilots is the size. It is a 45 millimeter watch. It is a larger watch, but it is a killer watch. If Belova would just make these a little bit smaller, they would make a huge pile of cash. Uh, but it is still a cool watch that I recommend checking out, even if you do have a little bit of a smaller wrist. That is the Bulova Lunar Pilot. Next is another Bulova. This is the Marine Star 98B301. Full retail price on this one, also $595. Also a 45 millimeter watch. Wipe off that crystal a little bit there. This one's kind of the uh, rose gold PBD two-tone stainless steel. Uh, this one does have a ceramic bezel insert. Uh, this one is a screw down crown, 200 meters water resistance. It is a domed mineral crystal. It's still a mineral crystal. Love the colors on this one. Love that kind of navy blue. Uh, and the two-tone, the two-tone also goes all the way in down through the bracelet links. Uh, cool Marine Star, uh, definitely a fan of this watch. Had it for a long time. Nice brushing, case finishing. One of the nicer Marine Stars I've seen. This is definitely a favorite uh, of that particular lineup from Belova. Uh, so the Belova Marine Star. Next up we have a Citizen. Citizen makes great watches uh, in this kind of still somewhat budget price range. Uh, this is the Citizen Blue Angels World Chronograph. 
and this watch does all kinds of awesome stuff. This one is $695 full retail. Uh, this has the H800 EcoDrive movement in it. Uh, it is a 43 millimeter watch. Um, and it is also radio controlled and it operates, uh, it's synchronized to the atomic clock. So this bad boy is as accurate as accurate gets. One cool thing about this watch too is if you drive between time zones, like I live in the Eastern time zone, barely in Indiana, if I drive west to the neighboring state of Illinois, this watch will just automatically adjust time on its own, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, but definitely this is one too you want to keep in the light and keep it running because if this one gets completely dead and it, it's kind of a pain to run through, it's kind of sync up reset, resynchronization process. But very, very cool watch. Really like the look of this one, like the colors. Uh, very comfortable to wear, nice bracelets. Uh, the Citizen Blue Angels World Chronograph. Next up, we have a couple Alpinas. Alpina is a, is a Swiss brand. Uh, Alpina, I believe, is now owned by Citizen. Uh, this is the Alpina Sea Strong. This is a 300 meter dive watch. Obviously, it has a screw down crown. Try to get the handset where it's not overlapping there, where you can actually. Uh, see the dial a little bit uh, but I uh, kind of like that blue bezel black dial uh, again Salita movement sapphire crystal decent finishing pretty good bezel action on this one uh, full retail price on this is $13.95 you're never gonna pay that for this watch uh, I think I paid around 550 bucks maybe 600 bucks for this watch Decent Tropic rubber strap on it. Cool watch. Alpina makes some cool watches. Uh, definitely appreciate the brand. Uh, this is a, a nice Swiss diver option if you can get it in that, run that $600 price point. I think there's some definite value for money at that price point for this watch, the Alpina Sea Strong. Next, we have another Alpina. It is the Alpina Alpiner 4. This one's kind of a field watch option from Alpina. Um, it is another Salita Movement 44 millimeter watch. Uh, this one does have a screw down crown too. Uh, I wanna say it is 100 meters, yep, right there on the dial, 100 meters water resistance on this one. Also anti-magnetic. Cool watch, nice finishing. I like the case shape on this one. Cool case back, decent leather leather band on here. Uh, again, cool watch, Alpina makes some cool watches. Uh, I, this full retail on this one's around the same price, $13.95. But again, I think I bought this one from Joma Shop, gray market, and I think I paid like 550 bucks for it. If you can find these all day long, definitely sub $700 range. And at that price point, I think there's some tremendous value uh, for money from Alpina. I think it is a solid kind of entry-level Swiss brand. Next, we have the Tissot Seastar Powermatic 80 Silicon. Man, this dial is dirty as heck. Really like this kind of blue sunray dial on this one. You've got your ceramic uh, bezel insert. Uh, that is a little bit different shade of blue. Uh, full retail price on this one is $795. Uh, again, this is one you can find for cheaper than that. Um, 300 meters water resistance on this one. Uh, then this is the Tissot is part of Swatch Group. This is the Powermatic 80 movement. So you've got an ETA movement. You've got 80 hours power reserve. This one is the silicon. So you've got the Nivacron balance spring that is going to give you some additional anti-magnetic properties uh, sapphire crystal you can see the movement there to the see-through case back don't love the strap on this watch uh, kind of a stiff nylon leather back strap but again a cool 
diver, a good value around that $500 mark where you can find these a lot, $500, $550. Good entry level Swiss dive watch, the Tissot Sea Star. I have done a review video on that watch on the channel. Next up is another quartz watch. It is the Junghans Form C. Uh, Junghans is a German watchmaker. Uh, they make a lot of Bauhaus style, uh, minimalist style, kind of chronographs. Uh, a lot of really good automatic watches, but they do make some quartz watches, and this Form C is an example of that. It is a 40 millimeter watch. Does have a sapphire crystal. It is a Swiss quartz movement. Uh, it is made in Germany. Really nice leather band on this. Uh, really good looks. Uh, solid finishing. 550 US dollars is the full retail price on one of these. And it's kind of a good entry level into this style of watch. I definitely recommend checking out Junghans. That's the Junghans Form C. And let me rearrange here and kind of move this closer to me because that's the end of that box. And next up, we have another Swatch Group watch. This one is from Arado. And this is the Arado Diastar Original. Uh, full retail price on this, $750. US dollars. Uh, this is a reissue of a vintage watch that originally came out in 1962. Uh, this is not stainless steel. Rado calls this hard metal, whatever that is. Uh, all big polished surface there. Definitely a little bit of a smudge magnet, but it doesn't, does seem to be very scratch resistant. Of course, you've got that very cool kind of faceted stepped sapphire crystal. Uh, ETA movement again with this being a swatch group watch. Uh, so you've got some definite value there. Again, full retail, 750, but you can find them a little bit cheaper than that typically. 35 millimeter, definitely true to vintage size, but a very cool watch. I like this watch a lot more than I thought I would uh, after I picked it up. Uh, and I think it's probably gonna stay in the collection for quite a while. The Rado Diastar Original. Next up is a hot watch, a watch that came out Maybe last year, the year before now, hard to keep track of time. It is the Tissot PRX Powermatic 80. Uh, and of course, this is the green dial. Uh, this version came out this year. Uh, cool texture dial, kind of a deep, uh, almost forest green. You do have a sun ray burst there. 100 meters water resistance. Of course, you've got your Powermatic 80. ETA movement, 80 hours power reserve. Uh, again, a Swatch Group brand, Sapphire Crystal. 650 full retail price on these. Uh, integrated bracelet, great light play on that bracelet. Great uh, finishing for the price point. Uh, this is just a cool watch. It's been a home run for Tissot. They've really done very well with these PRXs. Um, so the Tissot PRX Powermatic 80. And next on the list is the PRX Chronograph. And I absolutely love this watch. I've really enjoyed having this watch. It is just great on wrist, tremendous wrist presence. Again, this is a little bit larger piece than the Powermatic 80 version. Got that 70s style, that case shape, that Gerald Genta-esque uh, design language. Uh, this one is 1750 full retail. I did get a little bit of a discount on this one thanks to the big homie Bruce Williams and uh, Saltzman's watches. Uh, I paid a little less than full retail for this price, which on a new release hot watch is uh, awesome. Definitely appreciative of that. 100 meter water resistance, Valju movement, 60 hours power reserve. This watch is killer. It is a huge winner. Couldn't recommend the PRX Chronograph more. It is a favorite. Next up on the list is another favorite. Uh, I picked this one up pre-owned on eBay and uh, 
It is the Stova Classic Flieger, of course. Uh, full retail on these, brand new, is $1,250 US dollars. Uh, this is a 40 millimeter watch. Of course, you've got a sapphire crystal. Very thin. This is the manual line version. This, again, like I said, it's pre-owned. It's from a few years ago, so this one has the ETA movement in it. Um, and it is just, I mean, great movement. Super thin. Just feeling this watch in hand. Tremendous quality. Uh, these now come, of course, with a Salita movement. This is the Type A dial. You can get a Type B dial, obviously, as well. Sterile, no date, no logo. Does have the Fleet Numer on the side. And, of course, you have those tremendous... Let me get my fingerprints off the crystal there. Thermally blued hands. Some of the best thermally blue hands I've ever seen. Uh, pictures and video may not do this watch the justice that it deserves. Once I got this in hand, I am extremely appreciative of the quality of a Stova watch. I really couldn't recommend checking out Stova more. Uh, you can order directly from them on their website from Germany. High level watchmaking for the price point, and it, it is just a great piece. Next up on the list is the Zodiac Super Seawolf. This is the watermelon version. Full retail price on this one is $13.95. Of course, this is a 40 millimeter watch. Uh, it is 200 meters water resistance. Uh, this is a STP 3-13 movement, uh, around 44 hours power reserve. Uh, of course, Zodiac is a Swiss made company with a lot of heritage. Uh, a lot of heritage on these Super Seawolf divers dating back to the 1950s and 60s. Uh, of course, Zodiac is now owned by Fossil, famously. But just beautiful sunray dial, great colors, great summer watch, great Jubilee-style bracelet, and the only butterfly clasp I know that has this kind of spring-loaded system that gives you some extra adjustment uh, with the size of your wrist. It may, may swell you know, as you're doing different activities. Phenomenal watch, highly recommend Zodiac. Very cool watch, great brand. Uh, the Zodiac Super Seawolf, it is a favorite. Next up we have the another watch uh, with a lot of heritage. This is the Nevada Grinch and Depth Master. Of course, Nevada Grinch was a brand uh, that went under during the quartz crisis. It is a revival brand. This is a reissue of a watch from the 1960s. Um, of course, this watch is a thousand meter uh, depth rating. Uh, this is a true to vintage size watch. This is a 39 millimeter watch. It is quite small. And of course, you've got your bezel still, so that dial is even smaller. This is the Pac-Man version. Uh, so you've got the cool uh, font on the dial. Love the orange second hand. Uh, Panerai style cushion case. This is known as the mini Panerai. Uh, great finishing on this watch. Top notch quality. So the best bezel action uh, I have seen in recent at the price point. Of course, this is using a soap rod PO24 movement, which is a Swiss movement. Very nice leather band. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Nevada Grinchin and what they're doing, kind of reviving the brand. Uh, full retail price on this is $955 US dollars. Uh, and uh, I definitely recommend checking out Nevada Grinchin. They've got some cool kind of vintage style uh, watches. Next up is a watch that I have had for a few years as a favorite in the collection. It is the Oris Aquas Date. Um, the, the Depth Master is a very vintage dive watch. This is a very modern dive watch. Modern looks. It's a watch that's not trying to be something else. Uh, this is a 43 and a half millimeter version. Uh, sapphire crystal. Uh, 300 meters water resistance. This is the uh, Salita movement version. I bought this one before the Caliber 400 movement was released. Uh, this one's on the rubber strap. Nice deployant uh, on the rubber strap. Uh, 
great finishing, beautiful sunray dial. Uh, Aqua State is a great dive watch. Highly recommend checking out Aurora's independent Swiss watch brand. Uh, $2,000 full retail on these Aqua States. You can definitely find them in the $1,400 range, probably gray market, and maybe as low as around right at $1,000 for the Salita version uh, pre owned. Uh, definitely a cool watch. Next up is the Certina DS4. Uh, Certina is a Swatch Group brand, probably not as well known in the US uh, as maybe in Europe. Makes some great watches. This is a 40 millimeter watch, uh, sapphire crystal, ETA 2825-2 movement, 40 hours power reserve, solid finishing, Love the kind of guilloche uh, style a dial. Uh, sapphire case back, iconic Certina turtle logo, rotor, butterfly clasp, uh, polishing on the center links. Cool watch. I picked this one up from Joma Shop for less than $400. Steel, complete steel. Uh, good value at the full retail price of $895 US dollars. Definitely recommend checking out Certina. Uh, great brand, great heritage, part of the Swatch Group, so you're getting quality movements. Uh, the DS4, small seconds. Next up is the Ball Fireman Racer. This is a watch that I don't believe Ball produces anymore. Uh, I did buy this one on the gray market as well. Full retail price on this one is $16.95, and I paid around just under $800 bucks for it. Uh, 40 millimeter case. Uh, 100 meter water resistance, Salita movement, uh, great finishing. Uh, really love kind of the case design on this watch. Uh, again, solid finishing. Uh, I love the colors. Tritium tubes on all ball watches. They are known for their tritium tubes. Uh, great heritage in the brand. Started out as an American company. Strong association with the railroad industry. Founded in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, just a very cool watch. Uh, Ball makes some really quality watches. If you are unaware of the brand, I highly recommend checking out Ball. Next is one of my favorite watches from one of my favorite brands. It is the Zen 104. Uh, Zen is a German watch brand that is fairly new. I think they were founded in the 1960s, I want to say. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but they are known for making really outstanding pilot watches, dive watches, tool watches, uh, top-notch quality. Uh, this is the matte finish, bead-blasted finish Zen 104. This is a special edition. Uh, most 104s have a high polish case. This is a matte bead-blasted finish. This is a 41 millimeter watch. Does have a screw down crown, 200 meters water resistance. Sapphire crystal Salita movement, bi-directional bezel, really great bezel action, just clicks right into place, kind of like a ball bearing system on the, on the Zen bezel. Uh, bezels are attached to be a screws. Just, just great watch making, tool watches, quality watches. Uh, you can't go wrong with the Zen. I couldn't recommend checking out Zen more. Those come in at full retail, just under $1,500 US dollars. Definitely worth the money. Next up, we have the world's greatest field watch, the Hamilton Khaki Field. Hamilton was a brand, of course, that started out in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Another American brand that had some association with the railroad, and now, of course, owned by Swatch Group and Swiss Made. Uh, this is a full retail $575 on this watch. Can find them for a lot cheaper than that. I believe I paid less than $500 for this one as well. Of course, being that it is a Swatch Group watch, you've got your ETA movement. This is the 42 millimeter version, sapphire crystal, solid finishing, uh, really cool watch, great field watch option. If you're looking for a field watch, definitely check out the Hamilton Khaki Field. Next up, we have the Mido Ocean Star 
Full retail on these, just under $1,000, 930 US dollars. Again, another Swatch Group brand, maybe not as well known in the US as uh, some of the others. Uh, 42 and a half millimeter watch on this one. This is a sapphire crystal as well. And this is the Caliber 80, which of course is the Powermatic 80. So you've got your 80 hours power reserve. Uh, just, just a cool watch, great finishing. Uh, love the case back, great clasp, all mill, or uh, you know, all milled. Your adjustment on the fly there. Uh, really cool watch, one of the best Swiss divers under a thousand dollars that you can get. Uh, the Mito Ocean Star definitely recommend checking out the brand. And last but certainly not least. Probably my favorite watch. It is the Tudor Black Bay 41 Silver Dial. Uh, of course, sapphire crystal, 150 meters water resistance, screw down crown. This is either an ETA or Salita movement. Great bracelet, uh, top notch finishing, high polished sides, screw down crown with the Tudor Rose. Love snowflake hands. Love that Sunray silver dial. Uh, Tudor is a brand that gets a lot of hype probably because they have the association of obviously being owned by Rolex. Uh, you can't buy a Rolex a lot of places at retail. Uh, Tudor definitely has better availability. Uh, they have top notch quality, uh, top notch finishing, build quality, movements, and they are very fairly priced, uh, even at retail. Full retail on this particular watch, $3,275 US dollars. Did pick this one up gray market for $2,550. And at that price, it is a steal. Uh, just, just a great watch. Couldn't recommend checking out Tudor more. I am a bit of a Tudor fanboy, admittedly but I think they offer a tremendous value proposition. Uh, I think it is a quality product at a fair price, and that is all you can ask for. And it also, if you did decide to move on from it and sell it, they hold their value very well. So that is the current collection. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, give me a like, maybe subscribe to the channel. Uh, so that is the state of the collection. Watch is over $500. You've now seen the entire collection in its entirety. Uh, I definitely appreciate you guys checking it out. Stay tuned for more unboxing and review videos. Thanks for watching.